Hello to all my baby people. Welcome back to another monologue video of mine. Today's topic is very interesting. So sit tight, grab some satay, and enjoy. It is 4 a.m. in the morning, and I am unable to sleep. So, like any normal human out there, I decided to open Google Scholar webpage to read some research article. And out of curiosity, I decided to search the topic of VTuber. Oh wow! There are so many academic papers on VTuber this day. Normally, in an academic environment, research paper, journal, and article are mostly written by any individuals to share their latest findings, opinion, and theory, as well as analyzing qualitative and quantitative data from a scientific sampling perspective. These academic papers or articles contain systematic and responsibly support the explanation with the aim of exploring a certain view through literal discussion of an applied information system theory. And the best part, anyone can write them and later submit to their local tertiary education institution for publication or proof testing purposes. These theories are then peer reviewed by professional academicians of similar discipline. Either through paper, publication, or online peer review website, like Google Scholar, ResearchGate, and any government funded repository site. And since I'm now a two weeks old VTuber, I deem myself to be qualified enough to peer review all VTuber related scientific journals. This is the case study article that I will be peer reviewing today. The title of this article is called VTubers and Animate Culture, a case study of Japanese learner in two public universities in Malaysia. It was published recently in the International Journal of Health Science on May 2022. Some of you might even ask, why do I even bother making a monologue video on it in the first place when it is just an article that explains the author's finding on their case study? Well, if one were to spend time reading the whole article, one will realize that this is actually not a case study article report, but an opinion paper that expands on the author's other existing research papers. And unlike most research papers that solely focus on a specific discipline, which in this case is VTuber and Animate Culture, this opinion paper encapsulates some micro and macro sociology issues, which I believe should be omitted from this article prior before publication. In maintaining a stand of academic neutrality in our country's universities, The article starts normally like most scientific journals out there. The introduction went by explaining the search of Japanese culture popularity globally, which include music, manga, anime, drama, literature, and sumo wrestling. And also the recent VTuber culture boom. This phenomenon then leads to many of our people interested in studying Nihon language to better immerse themselves in the Japanese culture, as well as understanding their favorite call me <coughs> virtual idol. So far, the introduction is very good and informative, especially to those people who do not know Japanese culture. However, as a VTuber myself, who 
is peer reviewing this article, I immediately spot a problem. Let's take a look on the fourth paragraph of the introduction. The article mentions the issue of bad influence exposure to our youth, which will indirectly harm our religious harmony. I personally agree with this statement, but when I refer back to the title, which is Retuber and Anime Culture, a case study of Japanese learners in two public universities in Malaysia, I find this paragraph is redundant as it has nothing to do with the targeted subject. In this case, it's the Japanese learner of the two public universities in Malaysia. At the end of the introduction, the topic of LGBTQ is also mentioned, which again puzzles me. This has nothing to do with the title of the case. The topic of LGBTQ leans more heavily towards the study of micro and macro sociology, which in this case I believe should be omitted as it is redundant. <laughs> the literature review of this article continues by introducing the otaku culture. Well, it makes sense, since many of the Japanese subculture originate from the collective passion and visionary evolution of the otaku culture. And otaku culture can also be very academic orientated, as portrayed in this paper. For example, Otake, Otaken, Otaking, Otaki, Otachan, Otachan, Ota Ota. Uh, huh. It appears script writing at 4 a.m. in the morning is not a good idea. Moving on, the literature review continues by introducing the subculture of Fujoshi and Fudanshi before introducing what is whole life and VTuber subculture. Imagine this, you are a fellow VTuber enjoyer who is trying to explain the VTuber subculture to your peers who are not familiar with it. How will you do it in order to drag them to the rabbit hole? A. Kizuna Ai VTuber Video B. Mocap Technical Video C. Current most popular VTuber agency highlight clips. Or D. Fujoshi of Fudanshi Otaku Subculture. What? <sighs> Excuse me? The order is totally wrong! Ideally, it should be introducing VTuber culture, then the whole life then to otaku, and lastly, to Joshi of Danshi culture for all degenerates out there reading any VTuber related scientific article. Placing to Joshi of Danshi before explaining VTuber culture is like telling all the new pilot recruits out there they will suffer a horrible crash or altitude sickness before revealing the wonder of flying in an aircraft. Why? Why? The rest of the article is all good. Although there are some interesting quotes, which I find them to be very funny reading on an actual published scientific article. Here are some montage of me reading the quotes of culture. For example, some VTuber use kawaii and sexy anime girl character, but in reality they are men. <laughs> oh yeah, yes, I approve this statement. Since then, anime and manga has spread all over the world and internationalized their terms in anime culture, such as otaku, fujoshi, futashi, kawaii, ushi, and many more. <laughs> 
What is this? Well, 43.6% knew the term for Joshi. What? And 35.4% knew the term for Danshi. Ah, I see. It appears many of you from UPM, UMP, UMS, UKM, and UM are men or women of culture as well. Malaysian view the term of otaku as fashionable? What? Are you sure about that? I don't think otaku is a lifestyle or fashion here. Why is it denote a woman for Joshi? <laughs> well, the other usage of this term is denote a rotten woman for Joshi. <laughs> Consider unfit for marriage because of a love for unsavory literature. <laughs> unsavory kind of literature. Hmm. Do you mean BL and Yaoi material? Gabriel 2011, who studied the Fujoshi phenomenon. Why would, why would you do a study on Fujoshi? Huh? Never mind, let's move on. Examine how women they identify themselves. Fujoshi can express a collective interest, which has been made possible across physical and virtual space by producing, consuming, sharing fiction. <laughs> Discussion or relating to game practices. <laughs> His focus is on playful interaction with the media. <laughs> <laughs> and exploring what he call transgressive intimacy, <laughs> which imagine between character and, be and between Fujoshi themselves. <laughs> Are you serious? This really got published on the International Journal of Health Science Journal? What am I reading right now? A fudanshi is a slang term to refer to a man who enjoys reading yaoi or homosexual manga or watching yaoi manga. Huh? Huh? Why? It means bottom boy. To connote that his ideal pastime is not so favorable, and enjoying it is supposed to be a guilty measure. Nani the heck? How the hell reading yaoi manga and anime is a form of guilty pleasure? Get a better pastime or hobby. Go watch hentai instead. They will still be referred as fudanshi even if they read or watch yuri lesbian material. A freaking course! Ah! The analysis is for the enhanced by examining how Fujoshi communicate with Fudanshi. What? And how Fujoshi in other Asian countries want the eye desire of Fudanshi. <laughs> I can't do this anymore. To access the space within a specifically female oriented cultural sphere. <sighs> I swear the author are trolling when they are writing this case study article. The video showcases characters or VTubers in hologram form with the participants surprisingly made up entirely of men. I mean, da, who want to watch a shitty male VTuber? Huh? What? On 6 July 2021, Masui celebrated her 1.05 subscribers. Hmm, I think now I know why the authors are so obsessed with the term Fujoshi. The issue is whether fans of anime cultures are mature enough to select appropriate content, not to obsess, to abandon the peer value that the author that the authorities are trying to impose? Peer value? Huh? What peer value? And which authority are we talking about? This has nothing to do with the title of this article, which is VTuber and Anime Culture, a case study of Japanese learner in two public universities in Malaysia. 17% we know that they have just four 4.2 respondent like that shit. The respondent who claim that they are Fujoshi and Fudashi make up 31.9% <laughs> Hey, you're 
she said a percentage that is relatively high and worrisome and worrisome <laughs> holy moly jesus dandy almost everyone from UPM and UMT are degenerates On the contrary, the negative influence of watching VTubers are being addicted and the possibility of becoming hentai? Hentai refers <laughs> Hentai refers <laughs> to the type of person who is addicted to pornography <laughs> What? and carries a negative connotation it refers to a person who is obsessed with an abnormal sexual desire or act as an abbreviation of hentai seiyoku, sexual provision. <laughs> it does not work that way. As a healthy functioning me, I had watched hentai long before VTuber become popular. One will not become a hentai person by watching VTubers. Simple as that. <sighs> Thank you for spending time watching this video. If you like this type of content, please click the like button and leave a comment on your favorite moment so that this video will not be buried by the YouTube algorithm. Feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the bell icon to get notification on my latest video upload. Also, follow me on Twitter and join my Discord server. And to all my baby Biru, Kim Biru, signing off. Goodbye.